What the heck is a cartouche? It's simple really. A cartouche is a stamp. American made muskets of the late 1700s through the 1800s that were owned by the US government were stamped. If I remember correctly, before 1839, the sub-inspector would stamp the flat on the opposite side of the lock. The ordnance inspector would stamp right in front of the butt plate tang. After 1839, the sub-inspector would still be on the flat, but the ordnance inspector would stamp behind the sub on the flat. Keep in mind, a cartouche is, in the case of muskets, stamped into wood that is in some cases over 250 years old. This means on a well-used weapon, the cartouche may by now be very hard to read. Sometimes they are worn away completely. Such is the case with this musket. This is one of two cartouches on a very well used 183 year old Pomeroy model 1816 musket. The cartouche is oval with the initials of Joseph Hannes. Mr. Hannes was a civilian employee of the Ordnance Department for over 25 years as an inspector of contract weapons. He was born in 1802 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was twice married and had eight children. His first wife was Eliza and his second wife was Mary. Joseph died in 1887, possibly from the effects of being bitten by an ugly dog the day before. The second cartouche on this musket is that of Man Page Lomax. This cartouche is located on the top of the comb directly in front of the butt cap tang. Major Man Page Lomax was a military man. He was born in 1787 in Port Tobago, Essex County, Virginia. He graduated with honors from the College of William and Mary at 15 years of age in 1802. He rose through the ranks of the military to first lieutenant by 1807, also serving in the War of 1812. He was then promoted to captain. Major Man Page Lomax was bestowed the honorary position of Brevet Major. He served in the Indian Wars and was then transferred to the Ordnance Department. Major Lomax was married to Elizabeth. They had 11 children, three died in infancy. One son graduated from West Point and became a Major General in the Confederate Army during the Civil War. Major Lomax was deployed to Florida during Indian uprisings and became ill. He returned to his home but died in 1842 at the age of 55 after becoming sick while serving in Florida. The study of cartouches is a fascinating one. It does take some detective work. Just to figure out whose initials are in the ovals and rectangles is an art. Every part of a musket from the 1700s through the 1800s is a study by itself. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I enjoy learning new things about these muskets and I hope you do too.